our Bay Area Proud series is all about thinking of others before thinking of yourself, which of course is the definition, at least one definition of kindness. Yeah, right now we meet a man thinking of others even when he himself is in a very tough spot. Garvin Thomas joins us now with his story. Hi, Garvin. Uh, Jessica, Janelle, you know, there are lots of things you can promise to do in exchange for pledges for a good cause. Walking, biking, swimming, those are popular ones. But at St. Baldrick's, they came up with a unique one, shaving heads. The events they host raise money for childhood cancer, but as you'll see, you don't have to be a kid to join in. At the age of 90, Ron Gillies has much to be thankful for, like still knowing his way around a pool table having a family that adores him, and still possessing an impressive head of hair. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they, yes, I do. I'm getting ready, you okay? Good for it. So why then is Ron, at his age, looking to get rid of all of it? The hair, I mean. Well, because he feels it's the right thing to do. <sighs> I know I want to help, and that's what I want to do. What Ron wants to do is help those with cancer. Jo Jacob, Shannon, uh, Barry, Wendy. Over the decades, the list of Ron's family and friends who have fought. My, my dad. And sometimes lost a battle with cancer is long. Most recently, that list includes Ron himself. Three years I was getting, I went through an awful lot of cancer. Ron just went through his latest procedure not more than a couple of weeks ago. You ready? Sure. It was around that time that Ron's son-in-law, Bear, who owns the Public Inn in downtown Windsor, told him about the St. Baldrick's event they were hosting. People willingly have their heads shaved. He said, what about you? And I said, me? I said, you know, I never done that, never even actually thought about it. But Ron says he didn't have to think long about it. His daughter, Joey, was not surprised. His love, his giving heart, supporting people being there, yeah, absolutely. Ron was by far the oldest participant, and his hair joined that of about a dozen others on the ground. The event raised $11,000 and counting. Something to be thankful for, regardless of age. That's well, better than I thought. <laughs> I think he looks fantastic. He does. If you know of somebody like Ron who's doing something nice for others, something kind for others, or generous, I would love to hear about it so we could share their story. You can send me an email to bayareaproud at nbcbayarea.com or just search Garvin Thomas on social media. You'll find your way to me. Tell me the story. We'd love to get together and share that story. Good news with Ron. So yeah. it's been three years with the cancer, but the latest reports are good. The latest procedure he had was kind of just to check up on how things are going. So he's feeling good. And as you can see, he's looking, feeling he's good looking enough. Looking good. Looking great. Fighter, looking great, survivor, and looking good. And looking to help others. Yeah. And those white locks filled with so much wisdom. <laughs> yes, That's so true. Much. That's true. Thanks, Garvin.